Okay, in this video we're going to continue looking at the notion of a matrix exponential. But in this case we're going to look at the setting where our matrix only has a single eigenvalue and a single eigenvector. In other words, it's not a diagonalizable matrix. So we're going to gloss over some of the details that are happening in the background because our application will be to solve um, pretty simple systems of linear differential equations. But what's going on in the background has to do with the Jordan canonical form and some generalized eigenvectors. So let's recall that if we have a 2 by 2 matrix A, we can define the matrix exponential as follows. It looks like a Taylor series expansion of the function E evaluated at this matrix. Now if A has an eigenvalue lambda, so only one eigenvalue, and only one eigenvector V, then if we set P equal to this matrix, so V and then this column is given by just one zero. So this is what we call a generalized eigenvector um, for this eigenvalue. And in fact, we can pick lots of things to go here, but this works. And in the bigger, more general case, it's a bit trickier. Um, and then in this case, P inverse AP is not diagonal, but it's equal to this lambda on the diagonals and a one on the off diagonal. So this is called the two by two Jordan block with eigen um, value lambda. Good. So now let's go ahead and notice that this means that A equals P times uh, lambda one uh, zero lambda times P inverse. And furthermore, uh, we can readily check that a to the n is equal to p times, now we're going to get lambda to the n here, 0, lambda to the n minus 1 here, and then lambda to the n, um, sorry, this should be n times lambda to the n min minus 1 there, and then here we have p inverse. So I won't go through all the details, but that's like pretty easy to check. Maybe we'll notice that a squared in this case um, is, well, let's not do a squared. Let's just do this uh, block matrix squared. So that's going to be lambda squared. And now notice we get 2 lambda from doing lambda times 1 plus uh, 1 times lambda. And then we have 0 lambda squared. Okay, good. Now, uh, an A cubed will have a similar form and so on and so forth. So now the next thing we want to do is calculate the matrix exponential of this. So notice that's going to be equal to um, P inverse and then the sum N equals zero to infinity of one over N factorial. And now we have lambda to the N n lambda to the n minus 1, 0 lambda to the n, uh, and then a p on the other side. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is bring the sum inside of the matrix. So that's going to give us p, and now we're going to have the following matrix. We're going to have the sum n equals 0 to infinity of lambda to the n over n factorial. We've got 0 down here. Uh, down here we have n equals 0 to infinity of lambda to the n over n factorial. And then finally up here we have the following. This is the sum n equals 0 to infinity of n um, over n factorial lambda to the n minus 1. So now what I want to notice here is that this fraction will easily cancel to 1 over n minus 1 factorial. And since this sum is exactly the same as these in the infinite limit, all of these add up to the same thing. In fact, I forgot a p there. In fact, they're all going to add up to e to the lambda. So here we get this is p. Now we have e to the lambda, e to the lambda, 0, e to the lambda, and then times p inverse. Okay, good. So now I'll clean up the board and we'll look at an example of this. Now here we're going to look at the following matrix. So we have A is 4, half, minus 2, 2. So we want to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors. And since we're looking at this special case, there'll be a single eigenvalue and there'll be a single eigenvector. So uh, first we want to know what the characteristic polynomial is. So notice that's going to be the determinant of x times i minus A. So let's see what we get for that. We get the determinant of 
x minus 4 goes here. Um, negative 1 half goes here. 2 goes here. And then x minus 2 goes there. Okay? Now, we can take that determinant. We get x minus 4 times x minus 2. And then we get plus 1. Okay, let's FOIL this out. So we get x squared minus 6x and then plus 8 plus 1. So that gives us x squared minus 6x plus 9. Notice that's x minus 3 squared. So that tells us that our eigenvalue is 3. Now the next thing we want to do is find our eigenvector, which means we need to look at the null space of 3 times i minus a. In other words, the null space of this matrix where we set x equal to 3. So let's see. That's going to be the same thing as the null space of, so 3 minus 4 is negative 1. We have negative half here. We have 2 here. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay, so we get that, but now notice we can do a little bit of row reduction here. Notice the second row is a multiple of the first row. So this gives us the null space of uh, 1 half uh, 0, 0. But now notice if V, which equals XY, is in the null space, then that means that... <coughs> 1 half 0, 0 times xy has got to be the 0 vector, which tells us that um, x plus half y is equal to 0, which tells us that um, x equals minus half y, and then y is what we sometimes call a free variable. So this is minus half y. Okay. Now, in order to keep the fractions nice, maybe I'll set y equal to negative 2, and that's going to give me x equals 1, and uh, y equals negative 2. So we have 1, negative 2. So there's our eigensystem. We have <coughs> lambda equals 3, that's our eigenvector, sorry, value, and there's our eigenvector. Okay, I'll clean up the board and then we'll finish it off. Okay, so we got our matrix A, we found the eigenvalue 3 and the eigenvector uh, 1 minus 2. So now notice if we set P equal to the following matrix, it's going to be 1, minus 2, 1, 0. Off this setup over here, then that tells us that P inverse is, so I'll calculate that. Well, I've already calculated it. You get uh, 0, minus half, 1, half. Okay? And then uh, P inverse a, P. So I'm just going to use this result, although you can check this by hand if you want to. This is going to be uh, 3, 3, 0, 1. So we've got 3's on the diagonal, 1 on the off diagonal. Okay? Now the next thing that we can do is use this to find our matrix exponential. So we know that e to the a is equal to p, and then from what we calculated on a couple boards ago, this is going to be e cubed, e cubed, 0, e cubed, and then finally p inverse. Okay, so now I'll let you guys uh, multiply this out super carefully. I'll just jump to the answer where I multiply P and P inverse on either side of this matrix where those are my P and P inverse. I get the following. So this is going to be 2E cubed right there. And then we're going to have E cubed over 2 right there. And then here we'll have uh, minus 2, 0. Okay, good. So that's the end of the video.